What's up? Oh, um, I'm just waiting for my lunch. Where is it? Oh, it'll be here in, um, oh, 10 seconds. Shouldn't you be waiting by the door? Oh, no, it doesn't work that way. Oh. Oh, hey, can you uh, get the door for me, please? Just open it. Sure. Thanks. What is this? Right here. Here I am. Oh, this is the future. No more waiting around for a delivery person to deliver my food. Now, I get instant meals at lightning speed. Come here. Come here. Where are you going? Any second now. I missed it. Hey, what are you doing? No, no. That's my no... Come back here with my taco! Taco! Impressive! Why, thank you, good man. I'm quite a fan. <laughs> Oh! Oh, why, hello, good people! My name is John. My name is Brandon. And you are watching... Uh, the so... And so... Uh, a show! show. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind us. We're just getting ready for dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're, we're trying this new free food service called Banquets on Buses. Yeah, a couple of college students converted an old bus into a food delivery vehicle. Yeah, they're bringing us a free banquet! Yeah, the best part is, we're gonna surprise the delivery person by inviting them to stay for dinner. Mm -hmm. I must say, we are quite generous. Oh, indubitably. <clears throat> Come in. <clears throat> oh, what's up, dudes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Did you two order a super deluxe banquet special? Why, we certainly did. <gasps> <gasps> Sweet. <laughs> All right, my name. Oh, right. let me uh, make some space. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Very pleasant. Alright. Yum 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 yum. Here we go. Oh, we got the radical skedadical pasta. Ooh. Partially opened. Oh. Peaches. Pudding. Sardines. We got the garbanzos flying in. You guessed it, more sardines. Olives. Tomatoes. These are my favorite, peaches, tomatoes. All right, that's everything, guys. Bone up a teat, dude. Wait, wait a minute. This is the super ultra deluxe banquet special? I know, right? Pretty rad. I <sighs> know, my dear boy. Not rad at all. Yeah, where's the roasted turkey and the ham? Yes, and the mashed potatoes, the salad, the dessert. Is this dessert? That's actually the entree, dude. And where's the bus? It's called banquets on buses, <laughs> not, not snacks on, on skateboards. <laughs> Emotional wipeout, dude. No. Oh, no, oh. No, 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 no. We're no, sorry. No, 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 no. We were just excited about the experience. Yeah, yeah and we were even going to invite you to join us. <laughs> like, for real, for real? Yeah, you, you, you want to? Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually really hungry from skating all around town with that humongo backpack on. Oh, here, let, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me pull up the shirt. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, oh, all right. <laughs> so, uh, what's your name? Oh, my name's Slater. Slater the skater, dude. I... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I deliver with banquets on buses, except we don't really have any more buses, and some people don't consider this a banquet. Yeah, the pictures online made the meal look a little more appetizing. I know, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about all that. It's just that my best friend Bruce is 
technically the one who had the bus and the cooking skills. <laughs> Did something happen between you two? Yeah. You know, when we first started banquets on buses, we thought it'd be cool to help serve families in need by bringing them a home-cooked meal. Oh. You wouldn't believe how many families need food. Oh, wow, that's, that's very thoughtful. Yeah, but then Bruce decided to quit because he said it was getting too expensive. Oh. With all the gas and the food we were buying, dude. Hmm. <laughs> but at least you're still doing it. Ooh, right, right, right. Yeah, I, I just want to help out however I can with whatever I got. Did you? So I got me, I got my board, and whatever I have in my pantry. I just wish that I could serve people better meals. Oh. You know what? You basically have a dinner right here. <laughs> I mean, all of these ingredients are, would make a, a delicious dinner. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you have the, the pasta, just, yeah, pasta. just put it in the tomato sauce yeah. and maybe the, the, the olives. Sure, and then sure. you can have the peaches for dessert right. and, 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 and sardines. <laughs> okay, look, look, the important thing is that you're using what you have to be generous. It doesn't have to be expensive. Right, and Bruce can help you cook up with all the ingredients oh. you already have. And you can also save gas by just using your skateboard. Oh. But dude, it's called banquets on buses. Yeah. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe you can call it smorgasbord. Because <laughs> you, you have a variety of things and, and you're on a, you're on a skateboard. Oh, skate, board. Smorgas board. Yeah, because yeah, the skateboard. Oh! Yeah! yeah. Dude, look at that skateboard. Oh, I, that's a great idea, dude. I need to tell Bruce about this right now. Oh, okay. you know, that's, that's so rad. Here, here, don't you leave your food. Don't oh, leave your food. oh, okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we can make so much out of this. I know, yeah. no, totally. Do? Oh, you don't ooh. want the sardines? No, no, thank you. Okay, no, well, right. you guys can share that. No, 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 no you that's take it, you take awesome. it. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, dude. Oh, here's your skateboard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, dudes. Oh, wait, help me. Oh, yeah, yeah. See you later, dudes. Thank you for the great idea. Yeah, absolutely. Later, Slater, the skater. Wow, look at us helping someone help someone. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> uh, but who's gonna help us with dinner? Oh. Back up pizza. Woo, hooray. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey fellas! Whoa! Looking sharp. Sorry about your banquet. Oh, no problem, Kellen. We're mostly just hungry for a Bible story. Well, today's story should be enough to feast on. It comes from the book of 1 Kings. Then take it away, Kellen! Okay. When King Ahab was ruling over Israel, he ordered the people to worship a false god. But Elijah, one of God's prophets, refused. And he warned Ahab that the one true God of Israel would not allow it to reign until he said so. So for the next few years, there was no rain. Oh, I, I know this story. In fact, I've been working on a movie version. Want to see my trailer? Um, sure. Let's see what happens. You won't regret this, Kellen. <laughs> In a world with no rain, in a land suffering from drought, there came a man who heard from God. Psst. Elijah, go right away to Zarephath. And a widow who had run out of hope. Man. <laughs> Would you get me a little water in a jar? Please bring me a piece of bread too. I have no bread. 
I have only a little flour in a jar and a wee bit of oil left in a jug to make one last meal for my precious son and I. And we shall eat it. And then we'll die! Too much? I mean, I wasn't there. And that is what the widow said, so maybe it isn't too much. Nailed it. How can Elijah ask her for food and water since there was so little to go around? It doesn't seem fair. It doesn't seem fair, does it? If she helped Elijah, she would basically be giving him a portion of her and her son's last meal. Whoa. But God actually chose this woman to help Elijah. And what happened next was... No spoilers. Sorry. Carry on. Do not. Do not. Don't. Are you? I. Do not be afraid. Go home. Make your last meal. But first, make me a loaf of bread from what you have. Then make some for yourself and your son. The Lord is the God of Israel. He says, the jar of flour will not be used up. The jug will always have oil in it. You will have flour and oil until the day the Lord sends rain on the land. And that's exactly what happened. There was always enough flour and oil to make bread, and they were able to survive the drought. The never-ending bread, coming soon to a theater near someone. <laughs> the trailer kind of gives away the ending there. Oh yeah, well I guess it was more like a short film. Whatever it was, it was great. It showed God's amazing power. And it showed us how God could use someone who didn't have a lot to give to help someone else. Oh, that, that reminds me of, of Slater, the skater, and how he was trying to use what he has to help others. Kind of makes me want to be generous now. Yeah, <laughs> totally. When we see how generous God is, when we see examples of other people being generous, it makes us want to be generous too. It's amazing. Hey, thanks for the story, Kellen. Hey, you're welcome. And great job with that film. I'll see you next time. You know, I feel like today was a pretty generous day. Kellen was generous as always by giving us a Bible story and Slater was generous with his skateboard food delivery yeah, service. Yeah, we were generous by giving our time and advice to Slater. Uh, oh, and, and you were generous for offering your pizza. Oh, let's eat. Oh, 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 oh but first, reveal the question. Oh, what do you have to give? Could be something you can Hold in your hand, like money or stuff. Right, or it could be something like, uh, like your time. Mm, mm -hmm. You can give up watching videos online for a while and choose to help someone else instead. Yeah, you, could, you can give out knowledge and wisdom if you can think of ways to help out in your home or your community. Yeah, or you can give out pizza. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. We should cook that first. Yeah. <laughs> Lesson learned. What do you have to give? Talk about it with someone. And we'll see you next time on The, the so and The so, so A Show. show. <laughs> Stop eating that.